Hi guys, today I have 10 perfumes that make me feel like someone else. It's like, you know, when you put on these sexy heels or these office heels and you just take on the persona, take on that whatever it is you're trying to be. You know when you put on like an office outfit and all of a sudden you feel professional or if you put on a clubbing dress and all of a sudden you feel like a hoe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but you know when you put on an outfit and it just changes your mood and you are ready to take on whatever it is you're taking on. That's what these perfumes do to me. They invoke a certain feeling. They invoke a certain aspect of my personality to come out. They bring it out. But these are those type of fragrances that invoke those type of feelings or vibes. It's just a certain vibe. So let's get into it. I'll, ex I'll explain in a minute. Should I just start with the sexy one? I'll start with the sexy one. This is probably, to me, the sexiest perfume that I own. This is, this is Flower by Kenzo Elixir. This is a praline, raspberry, vanilla, syrupy. I get a little bit of a smokiness to it. It's rose and, did I say raspberry? It's a smoky raspberry. This is sexy and feminine and slightly raunchy in the best possible way. I think I said this before, but if I was dating girls, this is what I would want the girl to smell like. I don't know if my husband likes it on me or not. He doesn't really care that much for perfumes. But this is so sexy to me. So this makes me feel sexy. This makes me feel... I'm not a sexy person. Like, I don't feel like I have sexy vibes or even very, like, super feminine girly vibes. But this, this makes me feel way more girly and sexy and feminine. This gives me sexy, come hither, let me smell you better, why do you smell so sweet and delicious vibes. Mmm, it smells like lickable, like you just want to lick it off somebody, but it would taste gross if you did, so. Jeez, this is all of it. It's just such a beautiful combination. One time I layered this with something else because somebody suggested that I layer, and although it was okay, I felt like this is not a perfume I want to layer because this is a beauty all in its own and I don't want to mess with it. It is gorgeous. I love it. Mm. Okay, moving on. On the other hand, this perfume, it's Flower Bomb. It's a powdery vanilla floral. It's called Flower Bomb, but I'm honestly, it's more like of a sweet bomb, sweet powdery bomb. This to me smells very feminine and it gives me feminine woman vibes. I keep saying I'm going to make a feminine vibes, feminine energy perfume video, and I think I forgot to, but I'll make it soon. But this would be one. This makes me feel so incredibly feminine, not girly, but it gives me like senora vibes. Like you are a real just middle-aged woman who has it together that's not too serious. Just the right amount of maturity and playfulness and seriousness and grounded and well put together. And it gives me that vibe of just very feminine and womanly in my opinion so this makes me feel that way when i wear it i've smelled this before on older women when i was like 18 19 years old i think is when it first came out and maybe i just made that connection but it was like the sadie who was well put together that smelled like this and it just gives me that kind of vibes that is flower bomb by victor and well now this perfume fresh cream by philosophy this perfume gives me like mom vibes this gives me soft this puts me in a mood of almost like a nurturing mood. This smells nurturing, maybe because fresh cream kind of smells a little bit like breast milk. I don't know. But this perfume makes me feel nurturing, like a mommy. I like to wear this at home. I like to, like, this is comfortable. This is soft and embracing. And that's how I feel when I wear it. Like, honestly, like if I was in a, in a different mood and I would want to get in a nurturing mommy mood, this is it. Fresh cream makes me feel soft, warm, and inviting like a mother would it smells like cream and sugar like whipped cream and sugar wait like whipped cream actually yeah it smells like whipped cream because there's definitely a lot of sweetness to it a lot of sweetness this also you guys this layers with so many perfumes it's like the whipped cream on top of any perfume i think i've said that many times but it really is like i like to layer this with so many that's why i got the big ass bottle because I love adding this to anything that I feel needs a little bit more of a like tonic or sweetness to it. This is it. This is a whipped cream on top of any other perfume. 
So if you have any other kind of gourmand that has any kind of lactonic notes, try layering it with this. And yes, this is going to fade away in like three, four hours. But if you were layer it with another one, it doesn't do anything to it because you'll still have the other one lingering around and you're just going to make it more milky and it's going to be delicious. So this is a good one for that as well. And on a similar note, there's Blanche Bet. Oh, this to me is the coziest, fluffiest, yummiest. This to me smells, I guess, like a cashmere fluffy sweater, like a warm knit sweater. This one's also so embracing and this is like a hug. This smells like a hug from a safe person. This makes me feel, this makes me feel elegant and embracing and warm and nurturing in a way. But this is more grown up. This is, this just puts me in that mood. This almost puts me in a mood more of a child. Like this is more like a hug from an older person. This perfume feels like so safe for me. Like it gives me safety. This is the, um, this is the weighted blanket of perfumes because it feels like a weighted blanket. The other day when I was having a stressful day and I was having anxiety, I literally went and sprayed myself with this. This is what I wore because this perfume is a nice warm hug from a loving person and it puts me in that kind of comforted mood. This one puts me more in a comforted mood versus the other one that puts me in a comforting mood. So uh, this perfume is a hug, is a hug from a loving, warm person. That's, that's literally what it feels. That's the feelings that it invokes in me. This is Blanche Bet by Liquid Imaginaires. Next, I have C. This is C Intense, but it's C by George Armani. And to me, this literally, literally smells like a clean, well put together grown woman that doesn't even wear perfume. Like she just smells good because she's clean and is always clean and is always well put together and she never leaves the house not well put together so this makes me feel put together it makes me feel like like i got my shit together like i know what i'm doing i know what i want and it's like this perfume smells like like masking you know whenever you have um adhd or other things you like mask in front of society to seem like if you're a normal person but you're actually kind of like low-key crazy <laughs> this perfume I don't mean you guys are crazy like I'm kind of crazy or I'm weird but then like in front of people I try to act normal it doesn't really work like I'm not that good at it my craziness just seeps through but I try and this perfume smells like masking it smells like like this veil to just make it seem like you got your shit together and you know what you're doing and you're not a total weirdo you know <laughs> this perfume is my cloak of normal normalcy that I put on to the world so this perfume makes me feel like a well put together actual woman when I'm really just a child inside, a traumatized child. Anyway, so that is C by Giorgio Armani. I love it. I love it for that reason. And then Angel Share by Killian. This puts me in the mood for fall, but I feel so expensive when I wear this. I feel like a fancy pumpkin. <laughs> Even though it doesn't smell like pumpkin, I just feel, oh, this makes me feel luxurious, honestly, genuinely. And I don't know if it's just because of the price or the smell or because I've associated, you know, because I've associated this scent with something incredibly pricey and high end and niche. But this makes me feel expensive, luxurious, but also because it's so gourmand and so specific, like not everybody wants to smell like a boozy apple pie. It also makes me feel like I don't care because I'm so luxurious and fancy that I can walk around smelling like a boozy apple pie and nobody's going to tell me nothing because I am so fancy. And everybody just looks up to me, you know? And who's going to question me? Who's going to question me? Because that's how... So I guess there's a little bit of entitlement here, you know? That's how rich people probably um, feel entitled. Like, who the hell's going to call me out? I can get away with anything because I'm rich, bitch. So that's not the case. That's not how I actually am. But this perfume just gives me a little bit of entitlement <laughs> because I feel rich and elegant and fancy. I didn't say these made sense, okay? I just said they made me feel a certain type of way. <laughs> I didn't say it had to make sense. That's how it makes me feel. I feel like a rich kind of entitled person even though I'm not in any way. Um, Libre Le Parfum. I think it's the orange blossom in here. Oh, this smells like such a 
fancy, fancy lady. This is a rich lady to me. I feel like such a fancy lady, like elegant, like jewels and pearls and like I'm such a classy lady when I wear this. I wore this once with clothes that was a little bit too simple, like too casual and it didn't it didn't feel right because this felt like like fancy jewelry. And so this makes me feel super fancy and elegant and elevated and that's why I only need a little bottle because it is very rare that I want to feel that way, but man, this smells to me like a bougie, expensive, fancy lady. And whenever I want to feel that, I know that this is the perfume to reach for. This is Kaeli Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. This makes me feel also rich, also luxurious, also well put together and clean. This makes me feel like a well-rounded human woman. <laughs> this makes me feel like I literally know everything. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing with my life. I know where I'm going. I know what I want. I'm assertive, but not bossy and not bitchy either. Like, ugh, man, actually, this makes me feel everything. It makes me feel sexy. It makes me feel so many things. Like the feelings that it invokes is just, this is probably like on the top five of like feminine energy perfumes because I, I get feminine energy, but like a real, a real feminine person, not girly, just like very good in your femininity where you have reached the point of you embrace everything including the softness and including like you just yin and yang have like worked it all out you are okay with your masculine traits along with your like you know when to be assertive and when to be in your masculine energy and you know when to be soft and be in your feminine energy this smells like a beautiful beautiful well put together woman probably in a blouse and slacks but not officey. I mean, it could be officey, but damn, this is just a well-rounded woman. And it makes me feel like a well-rounded human being when I wear this. I love it. I love it. Because it can also be a little sexy, a little mysterious. This perfume just elevates everything. So, okay. That's Kayali Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. Love it. I absolutely love it. This is Angel by Mugler. This perfume kind of smells like my soul. I think I've said that. I'm pretty sure my soul smells like patchouli. I think my soul smells like angel. This perfume makes me feel in my element. It makes me feel like me. Like I am embracing who I am. It makes me feel like I'm healed. Like I am healing. Like I, like I got my shit together emotionally, you know? I feel like none of these explanations make any sense. Sorry, not sorry. This is me in my element, so this makes me feel like it's okay to be myself. It makes me feel like the best version of myself. To me, this smells timeless, feminine, in a very assertive way, and it smells amazing. I don't know what it is. There's something so grounding, so it smells like this makes me feel like a grounded woman who has really worked through her stuff and just is well put together because of that, so... That the feelings that it invokes in me, that's what it brings out of me, and it makes me feel really, really well put together because of it, you know? It's grounding. I think that's what it is. It's just, it makes me feel really grounded. That's what I was trying to say with all the other whatever I said. So that is Angel by Mugler. Just the regular Angel EDP version. Next, not next, actually last, is the one and only classy Coco Mademoiselle and this is boss biatch boss woman this is patchouli but it's also kind of a freshy but it's also a little bit of like orangey so it's a little bit of a like citrusy and this makes me feel kind of like a well put together Mexican for some reason this smells kind of Mexican to me but this perfume feels like I am in charge. It invokes that emotion of being assertive, being in my element of knowing what I want and being just, I think it's assertive. It's like that boss bitch mode. Like I'm here to, I'm here to get shit done. And it also invokes feeling of like, like if I want to feel respected and taken seriously, this perfume invokes that. Like as somebody who is powerful, want to, I need to be taken seriously. You need to do what I say because, because I'm wearing Coco Chanel, okay? So yeah, this is just boss bitch to me. This is this does give me like office vibes, you know, because 
woman in charge this she's the boss she's just the boss and she makes me feel like if i'm the boss she makes me feel like if i'm the boss when i wear this so i love this perfume love it timeless classic it will never go out of style i don't care what anyone says i don't care how many people wear it okay i don't care so that is coco mademoiselle by chanel that is all for this video tell me if you have a perfume that creates any kind of emotion or invokes anything like that for you or am i just weird no i think i've seen a lot of people do that but these really really bring that out like these are the main these are the main ones that bring out those feelings there's a lot of perfumes that i like wearing and they're like, like they're just nice and i feel nice wearing them but they don't invoke this visceral reaction they don't invoke for me to feel a certain way but these absolutely do these give me a feeling these these mean something so yeah so anyways, that's all for today's video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.